Hi, welcome back to Kolsky RC. So the title suggests this is the best drone you can buy for under £200 new or used. The Phantom 3 Standard. Stay tuned. So before you all start hitting the comment button saying no, no, you can get much better drones than this for under £200 or I don't want to buy a second hand drone and various other things, let me explain why I'm doing this video. So one of the most questions I used to get asked when I was especially when I was doing the toy stuff is what's the best drone I can get for under 150 quid or something like that. They bought the uh, JGRC Heaven and then they're obviously disappointed because it thinks garbage and they want to know how to get a good picture. And I keep telling them the same thing, you can't get something for nothing. That drone does not exist. For under £200 you can now buy a Femi A3. If you're lucky you can probably pick it up from under that money. So, why am I reviewing this then? <laughs> so many moons ago I had one of these and I had a Phantom Advance and I've had a Phantom 3 Advance and a Phantom 3 Pro. And then moved on to the 4. Yeah, I've had them all. So I've had all the, fan all the DJI range. But one thing I did was I looked to see what was the best drone I could pick up for under 200 quid. This cost me £190 with a case, with the batteries, the controller, in this condition. So. I put the pink stickers on because I had them from in, my, in the old days from DJI and the only other thing you need to watch out for when you're buying one of these is this plate here. So this plate here that's made of what looks like metal isn't, it's actually plastic. These are prone to cracking. If this cracks or it, it, it loses its, if it cracks normally around here you're going to get jello on your image. They sell a carbon fibre one of these you can buy, do not buy that because the balls are too far stretched apart and you will get jello. So this is the only thing, so if you've got one of these and you're getting jello, definitely take this off, it's very simple to get it off and make sure this isn't cracked. If it is cracked you can 3D print one yourself or these cost about 4 quid from eBay. That's the only thing I've done to this, I've replaced this because it was cracked. And the rest of it is just, it's well, even dirty, it was how the condition it was. The main reason for picking this is this does 2.7k. This is 2.7k at 30 frames a second, and the image looks great. It's a DJI product, it flies fantastically well still. I was shocked when I took this up in the air and I flew it because I thought mm, it's going to feel a bit old. And yeah, it does feel a bit old in certain ways. The apps, which I'll show you in a second, is not the greatest. It connects by Wi Fi, you don't get as much range. But what I'm saying to you is, I'm looking at a drone that's under £200. So this was £190. I bought this from eBay and then people said to me, I won't buy up eBay, I don't trust them. Well, I'm not being funny. It's the safest place you can buy from, apart from Amazon. So if you buy from Banggood and you get it delivered, Gearbest, Banggood, Geek Buying, them all. If you buy from there and it goes wrong, you've then got the horrible thing to do with trying to sort it out. Not only have you got that to do, you're going to have to pay shipping to get it back to them. That's their terms and conditions. You're going to have to wait 30 to 60 days to get it in the first place. If you buy off eBay and there's, you don't, there's something wrong with this and it doesn't work right, eBay will always, and I mean always, find in the buyer's favour. If you've had an issue when they haven't found in the buyer's favour, something's been badly wrong. They'll always find in the buyer's favour as soon as you open a case, don't matter what the seller puts in, he's going to have to give you money back. I know this because I saw loads of stuff on eBay and unfortunately there's a load of fraudulent people out there and people send stuff back because they've either changed their mind or they just can't be bothered. And eBay finds in their favour every single time. So it's safe to buy. Trust me, I bought loads of stuff from eBay, loads of drones and if I don't, if it's simply not good, it does not have described, I'll send it back. If this had a cupboard, it would have been all scratched like I thought it could have been, I'd have just sent it back. But it wasn't, this is how it came. So that's one thing. That's why I really do think that buying off eBay is not that bad a thing. So let's power it up. This battery has been cycled, I can't remember, about eight times, I think this one, or ten times. The loud, loud, loud annoying beeps. These things you can print on off Thingiverse. I printed this myself, but you can pick these up for about five, six quid. It's a gimbal guard. The one it comes with is completely garbage. 
and this one is dead easy to fit just because the other one slides in the side. I'm not going to review this, but I'm going to show you it quickly. So it's got a three axis gimbal, obviously. The SD card goes in the top of the camera on the Advanced and the Pro. You put it in the side. It's got a USB port in here if you need to connect that up. But everything's done off your phone these days. And obviously, it comes with props that are self tightening. And I think the 9 inch or 9 point something inch. If you've never seen one, I'll show you. If you've never seen one, you must have been in a cave, but these are the type of things you get. So these self tighten onto here, and they simply spin into place. So you can get it up and in and out. Thing. It doesn't fold. No, it's not a folding drone. It, that, it, the fact it's not a folding drone doesn't bother me. This is fixed into the backpack that it came with, and I'm more than happy with it. So, like I say, you have to connect it by Wi Fi. Let's go into Wi Fi. Phantom 3 and then the app you use is not the go is not the DJI Go 4, it's DJI Go. Used to be P4 and before and now it's just Go. So this will connect to the drone and the default Wi-Fi password is weak. Yes, I've not changed it. Thanks very much. Right, so here's your image obviously you get and it's very familiar, it's a DJI app. There you go, it's connected now, I don't think it's connected. But you do get lag, and you will get breakup, especially in here because I've got a lot of things going on, so you're going to get some breakup and lag. It works far better on my Android phone than it does on my Apple phone for some reason. So, the range I got out of this was like 800 metres, and it started to break up badly, and it, I returned to home with it. It varies from where I am. When I was in a field, I got over that. When I was in a build-up area, I got like 600. So it's not got the range of a Phantom 4 or anything like that. But the screen display you get back brilliant. It's a dead intuitive app. It doesn't have as many features. And it's not a feature rich drone. It's a camera drone. But you can adjust various things. You can adjust obviously your format of your picture. I've got strong interference apparently. Well, that's a shock. Um, I can adjust my video size and everything like that, as you say. So it's 2.7K at 30 frames per second and then you can do 19 20 by 1080 which is your standard and then you can go down to 12 weeks and 20. So it, with the 2.7 image it really is a 2.7k image it looks crisp and it looks clean is it as good as the modern stuff no but this was 190 pound I've actually seen these go for 150 I just couldn't find one at the time I wanted to buy it to review but you can pick them up for as cheap as that. You probably, st if you're not convinced, I will have a flight test of this. I want a flight test it. I've just bought it. We'll show what it's like to fly, how stable it is, and I'll get that coming up when the weather improves. I'll put that video up and I'll do a flight test of this. I've just bought the drone. And it's brand new and it's 2014 or 15, whenever it came out, and you'll see what I mean. I think it's fantastic. Yes, I am I a DJI fanboy? No, I don't believe I am because I like all drones. But I still think DJI probably are the ultimate. I think everybody's playing catch up a little bit, but companies are closing right in on them now. But certainly when this came out, nothing could touch it. It was miles clear of anything else in its class. There was a load of other stuff that came out and people said it was good. I've tried them all. XK380, I've tried everything like that in them days. <laughs> Nothing could get any close to something like this. Thanks ever so much for watching. I will have the flight video coming up in the next, I don't know, week or so. As soon as the weather's a bit better, I'll put the flight test up. And like I say, I'll see how much distance I get. I'll show you what the breakup's like. And like my, always, it'll be an honest, true review. So if I get 100 metre range and it goes wrong, it goes wrong. But we'll do that. I'll also show you how we turn to home and everything else like that compared is to a modern drone. And obviously, what kind of flight time we get. Thanks ever so much. Have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching my channel. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell. There's plenty more good stuff coming up.